now you will see everything is happening as a miracle from the living god the uncommon favor is coming upon you you shall be put into uncommon places uncommon circumstances amongst the god's own people the uncommon people amongst the uncommon plans of the lord praise the lord my beloved ones today our beautiful most amazing lord god jesus christ has come with another beautiful prophetic word and the lord god says that you are receiving his uncommon favor you are receiving his uncommon favor because you are special you are special because you are his child you were not understanding the will of the lord that your finances must be sown on the altar of god you tried to help poor people you tried many ministries but it never worked my beloved ones the uncommon favor has come upon you when you know the right direction the right altar this is the reason why you must always remain connected to me so that you have the right altar the uncommon favor is always upon me because i have dedicated my life to the lord i sow in the kingdom of god righteously the 90% of my finances are as an offering they are offered to the lord make the covenant to the lord today that every year every month you will give this much on the altar on this altar because this covenant this promise this uncommon favor is coming from this ministry from the altar where i am the prophet of the living god that's why the word has come to me to give it to you you are blessed people of god you are the righteous one remain in his holiness give the offering of your love give the offering of your prayers give the offering of your compassion give the offering of your dedication keep the lord god in first place be prophetic if you are not prophetic my beloved ones you shall never see the uncommon favor you shall never even see god you will never know what is kingdom of god everyone thinks that they can do whatever they want but my beloved ones if kingdom of god is your free will then did he die on the cross in vain did jesus our beloved jesus did he die on the cross in vain to give you the free will the will always belongs to our lord god jesus christ and you must always pray that let his will come into your heart so that you shall do that business to glorify the lord god so that you shall make a covenant promise that whatever you earn from that business you shall sow it from the same altar from the same prophet where you have received the prophetic word i have seen many people they are doing their own evil will they do whatever they want to do and they deny this as a result i have seen them receiving the warnings from the lord do not provoke the lord's wrath the god's wrath you are not ungodly people you are the holy people holy people always remain connected to the altar of god every offering that i give him is for his glory it doesn't end up in my desire it ends up in his desire it is not easy to give 90% to give more than what you have to the lord it's not easy but my beloved ones only then you shall receive the uncommon favor so let your seed let your covenant let your promises let your connection come to the lord and if you want to be the partner of this ministry you must make a covenant to the lord that you shall serve the lord on this altar and you shall be the prayer partner you shall so financially you shall be the kingdom financers you shall be praying for the people you shall be dedicated only to one mother spiritual mother that is me you shall be connected only to this altar you have been roaming from one altar to another but my beloved ones the kingdom of god is not many altars it is only one altar of god only one house you must remain under one spiritual mother or father in the same house your blessings are coming from the house they are not coming out of the house they are not coming out of the altar of the living god and many don't understand the altar of the living god the altar of the living god is your prophet the altar of the living god is where i serve the lord when you are connected to me then you are connected to the altar of the living god i speak this in righteousness i prophesy because i'm the righteous one he has given me this privilege to prophesy to speak over your life he has blessed me this is the uncommon favor that i have that i can prophesy over you 
This is the blessedness that I have. But my beloved ones, in the background of this uncommon favor, in this blessedness, there is the sacrifice. The sacrifice that is pleasing to the Lord because even when we have to give it to the Lord, we give in faith. We must have that faith. So let your faith be manifested. The Lord says he will bless you with the desires of your heart. He will put his own desires in your heart, in your heart. As you receive this impartation, you will become the child of God and come on your knees and bow down your head and lift your hand towards heaven. Unless and until you receive this impartation, you will not come into the uncommon favor of the Lord. You will become the child of the most high and the living God. So as I pray, my beloved ones, you come on your knees, be receptive and speak in tongues as you receive this impartation. I say, receive it. It's flowing from my spirit womb to your spirit womb. So receive it. It is spiritual. It is prophetic. It is apostolic. You are the child, the obedient one. You are not the one who will lean on your own understanding, but you will listen to the voice of the Lord. Because the Lord says, my sheep hears my voice and knows me. So you are his sheep as you receive this impartation. You will know your Lord God Jesus Christ. You will know his plan and purpose. You will receive his uncommon beautiful favor. And you will feel honored. You will bless the Lord God Jesus Christ. You will glorify him as you receive this anointing. Receive it my beloved ones. It is beautiful. You have become a believer for this reason. My beloved ones, you must serve the Lord with anything and everything. Receive this impartation. Prophetically, you must receive it when you are speaking in tongues. And otherwise, my beloved ones, you receive it in faith by saying yes and amen. Say yes and amen. It is happening. I know the impartation is going from me to you you are receptive let it be hundred percent let the disbelief be broken let your umbilical cord be connected to that of mine be receptive this is the privilege that you have this is the uncommon favor that you have you are receiving this anointing be fruitful my beloved ones be filled with the joy of the lord because his uncommon favor is coming upon you Say hallelujah, hallelujah, and you will rejoice in the kingdom of God. You will rejoice for his holy name. His glory is coming upon you. His glory, his anointing is touching you. My beloved ones, rejoice. There is joy and happiness. My beloved ones, you are dancing. You are rejoicing like a child, like a newborn baby. You are happy, my beloved ones. The grievances and the sadness has left you. The regret and the guilt has left you. You are receiving sweet Jesus. Jesus is sweet. You are receiving sweetness of the Lord. It is beautiful. It is amazing. The Lord is touching you. Jesus is touching you, my beloved ones. You all shall be blessed. You are his beloved sons and daughters of Zion. My beloved ones, the presence of our beloved Jesus is here. His eyes are upon you. My beloved ones, he is looking at you. He is looking at the camera and he is looking at you. My beloved ones, who see it. He is touching you. His righteous right hand is coming towards you and he is touching you. My beloved ones, be receptive. The Lord is filling you up with his joy you shall rejoice for the kingdom of god you shall be very happy from this day itself and do come back with a testimony do email me and send the video testimonies because they help others to be receptive your testimonies glorify our lord god jesus christ and they help develop faith in others it helps them to receive the same anointing you cannot do anything without the Holy Spirit, without the anointing. You must receive the anointing. That's why you are here on this altar. You have been led by the Holy Spirit to this prophetic channel. So do not forget to subscribe to this channel and remain connected for this anointing. 
before the year ends, before the month end, the Lord says that this joy will be transformed into his amazing glory. So from today, my beloved ones, your life has become completely new. No more of disobedience. He has made you his righteous one. You have received his uncommon favor. You are the child of God.